Mix condensed milk with corn starch and chocolate. You will be surprised by the result. In a large bowl, start by adding 395 grams of condensed milk, 2 tablespoons of 50% chocolate powder, and mix until completely dissolved. When that happens, gradually add 500 grams of cornstarch and mix again. Take this time to share this video and write in the comment section the name of the city from which you're watching it and we'll make sure to leave a heart, especially for you. Oh, and thanks for sharing this video. Then, add two tablespoons of unsalted room temperature butter and mix with your hands until it becomes a smooth and uniform dough. This is the right consistency. Transfer the dough to a board and shape it into a rectangle. Have you got that recipe app? It's already available for download. With this app, you'll have access to all our recipes in the palm of your hands, and you'll get notified every time we upload a new recipe. In addition to all that, you'll also have access to an exclusive area in which you can bookmark your favorite recipes. Go to the App Store or Play Store now, type that recipe and download it. Then cut it into strips and into cubes of equal size. After doing that, take one of these cubes and shape it into a ball. Repeat this process with the entire dough. After that, transfer these balls to a large baking tray lined with parchment paper and press each of them with a fork just like I'm doing here. I hope you're enjoying the recipe. Share it with your friends. By doing so, you'll be helping us go even further. Take to a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and bake for 20 minutes at low temperature. But keep an eye out, as this time may vary depending on the power of your oven. This is the right point. That recipe is ready. You may now serve and enjoy it. I hope you liked this recipe. Now I'll head to the comment section and leave a heart to everyone who left the name of their city. See you next recipe. Bye-bye.